Now we turn our attention to COVID-19. And with fewer Pfizer doses and more Moderna doses available, there is concern on the rise about mixing and matching vaccines. What should people know before considering getting a different second dose? A lot of conversation here. Dr. Suman Chakrabarty joining me now with the very latest. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning. Um, okay, so we're hearing about the Moderna hesitancy. And I, I'm having so many conversations uh, with colleagues and friends saying, is, is it really okay? I had Pfizer for dose number one, but hearing the Moderna for Toronto, Peel, Halton, exclusively using it for availability, saying, I'm not so sure. So please, I'm hoping you can um, share with our viewers uh, about the safety and, and what you know. Absolutely. And I apologize for my connection. It might be a bit patchy today. But uh, yeah, so we do know that uh, Moderna and Pfizer, these two vaccines of the vaccines available are the ones that have the most similar mechanism. They're almost identical, to be honest with you. There are some subtle differences, but either way, it's safe to take the two together. It will give you the same goal that we need, full vaccination coverage. So I urge people, if you have the chance of getting the Moderna, get it. It's equivalent to the Pfizer and we'll get you protected against COVID. What does it mean when it comes to the Delta variant and what we know about protecting people who are fully vaccinated with either the mix and match or say double Pfizer, double AstraZeneca and whatnot and how protected they are? The point is that what we knew, no, even with one dose of vaccine, you're prevented against one of the most things we worry about, which is hospitalization and death. That happens even with one dose of vaccine. Nobody knows better. If you get those two doses, even with the Delta variant, you will be protected against what you fear the most, again, hospitalization. If you do get COVID with the vaccination, it's often very mild. And half the time, people don't even know they have any symptoms. So it works. Vaccines are our ticket out of here. Uh, speaking of ticket, a lot of people looking to book flights now and looking to travel. And we were hearing from the government about step one for those who are fully vaccinated. Canadians having to uh, can now bypass as of July the 5th that the quarantine rules that we saw prior. Do you agree with that? Do you think this is the time? I, I do, but I have to say that I'm not really a big fan of these quarantine rules to begin with. I think they are uh, planning to do. Uh, try and keep up in spite of borders. It just doesn't really work very well. This, this added loophole of these kids under 12 now uh, still needing to quarantine can really complicate things. I do think that vaccination is important. Once we get to a certain threshold, they should just do the travel like it was before. We really need to move on and take our laser focus off of COVID and have uh, confidence in the vaccines. Okay, Dr. Chakrabarty, we're having uh, some technical issues, but I'm hoping I can get at least one question in there for you. Uh, we're seeing in different provinces Alberta, Saskatchewan, lifting some restrictions come next month. Should Ontario be ready to follow suit? And what do you think is appropriate when it comes to lifting restrictions and moving on to step two and then step three? Absolutely. We can go to step two right now, but we have to be careful because step three isn't even a full reopening. And I think this needs to be well defined. We have to have that date for Ontario to look forward, just like in, in Saskatchewan, BC and Alberta, who are moving to a full reopening. I really want this to happen at some point in the mid to late summer. Uh, we need to have this to move on, have confidence in the vaccines and move back to normal life. Okay, that, would, that sounds good, doesn't it? Okay, Dr. Chakrabarty, appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Take care. It is 8.08 right now. Steph, we're going up to you. Good morning.